All right, hello everybody. Welcome to Historian's Pitch. Today is a how-to Wednesday. Um, I have currently put the days on absolute pause because they are actually in any half to death here. Um, so I had put all of it on pause for a while and worked on the shear behind me here, which I will work on again later here. But to keep my 1700 stuff going, I am going to work on skirt petticoat next. Um, I already have a under petticoat to wear. I just need that over petticoat. Um, I have a vague idea of how long it should be. I know what my waist measure measurement and all is, but basically with this OD green, <laughs> um, we're going to make a single waistband tie uh, where it'll have a slit in this side so that I can get to my pockets, but on this side is the only side it will actually tie. Um, and then once this is done, I will eventually get to the short gown that I'm going to make so that I have at least that much done. Then I'll get back to the space later because I don't really want to mess with them at the moment. Um, I'm learning a little bit more on how they're supposed to fit, but it's still not going great. So we'll see how that goes. I think I made them too short last time. I'm not positive, though they might actually be right. Not, I, I'm, I'm still figuring it all out. Um, but basically, at least with the stays, they're no longer going to be that sky blue. They're going to be the same green as the skirt. Um, and then I have a dark navy blue, or more midnight blue than navy blue, um, linen that I'm going to wear for the short gown. This is a lighter weight wool, but it is wool nonetheless, uh, both of which are pretty correct. So, um, yeah, with that, we are going to get going. Um, basically, from what I understand, it needs to be four to six inches from the ground. Um, so you have to accommodate for your hemline as well as your waistline. Um, so for me, it's going to be about yay long, which is little over a yard. Um, I'm going to attempt to use all of the material here for the skirting. I'm going to do pleats um, rather than gathers because I realized when I made my under petticoat, gathers don't look exactly great. Um, but yeah, I need to find my scissors and we will start cutting this out. The really nice thing about this variation of skirting is it requires no pattern. It's a bunch of squares with a waistband and that's pretty well it. So this is gonna be a hopefully rather short video. <laughs> All right, so basically how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna leave this bottom pretty well where it is. Um, I had pulled it, like torn it, so it should be straight. Um, at least in theory it should be, depending on how the machinery actually put it together. Uh, but basically I need to cut a good three, four inches from the top. I'm going to cut along that folded edge because I'm going to go back and reuse that as my waistband. Um, why are you in my hoop? <laughs> Basically, I have it folded over. You can just barely see it from the sun outside. Um, I'm going to cut along my bottom line here, just so that I know it's pretty well straight with the rest of it, or at least it should be. It's the same 
distance from the bottom on both sides here. Now, one thing when I go to make this waistband, I have to remember is that uh, I am used to far wider waistbands than what they were using then. So rather than using this whole thing, I only need half of that. Maybe even that's a little on the big side. That's about an inch and a half. Um, even that's going to be a little bit big for what I'm going for here. Um, but yeah, I have my skirt cut now. When you cut along that folded edge, it's going to work really nicely for you because I now have the front panel and the back panel, and I don't have to do anything past that point for this part. Um, if I wanted to make it absolutely correct, I would put these into 45 inch sections instead. So something about day wide and have multiple panels in this. Because um, when you were weaving at the time, even in the 19th century, your loom isn't that wide. You can't have 60 inch wide material. Uh, so the patterns for 19th century that are paneled skirts are actually making them more correct, even though they are pain in the butt to make. Um, but basically, where it's folded in half so that the selvages are together, that is your middle line. Uh, when I put it together, that's going to be, at least in the back, I think I'm going to do a box pleat in the very middle, and then in the front, I'm just going to pleat it all the way around that. Or I might do a small box plate in the front and in the back. We'll see what happens here. But first things first, I do need that waistband because I'm going to attach it directly to it. Um, I'm going to half this because when I've got it folded over where it should be, that's going to be about an inch waistband all the way around. So rather than cutting it all the way, I think I'm just going to tear it. Works smarter, not harder. And pieces like this, are going to get used at some point, maybe not in this project, but I might use it on the stays or um, I'm actually using the same color green as trim for the shear. Uh, so it, it, it'll get used eventually here. When, really. But now that I have that straight line, I'm gonna take this to my iron. I'm going to iron it down. Um, kind of like you would find bias tape. Thinking, if I do this correctly, yeah, I can just use this as the ties as well, um, rather than having to attach ties separately. So yeah, I'm going to iron this. A couple of different ways so it looks like bias tape and we are going to go from there. So because it does not want to lay exactly flat, I have it folded in half and that's good we're going to get at the moment. Um, but from here, I have it folded in half long ways. So rather than this, fold it this edge that is the fold is going to be my side bit. So, I'm going to pin that spot. Open it back up. 
And now one of my panels I'm going to take. I'm going to overlap that spot just a little bit. So like quarter inch over. With the panel. Pin it. And now this half is pinned where I want it. So I'll take the other panel. Make sure it's the same side. Overlap that quarter so that now, rather than like them being right next to each other, I'm going to overlap all of that so that when I'm wearing it, I can't see my pocket. So it should have one piece, two piece, oops, overlap the first one and then the waistband. And now from this, I'm going to sit here and pleat everything together to where I want it to be, because the trick is going to be finding this side like where I want it to be in the front and in the back so that it'll overlap, but not look ridiculous. Um, plate it all out and put it to the old sewing machine because my new one still is not overtly happy. Yes, technically all of this should be done by hand, but with it being the skirt, petticoat, forgive me, uh, with it being the petticoat and it all being hidden by the waistband, I'm not too terribly concerned about it. Uh, when I go to him, the other half of the waistband down, it will be done by hand. When I hem the skirt itself, it will be done by hand. The seams up the sides more than likely will be done by hand just because that seems to be the mood I'm in. So yeah, I will be back here in just a little bit and we will see how far I have gotten. All right, guys, so day probably like four of the skirt project because my computer died and I just kept on going um, the other day instead of stopping and making and stopping and making. Um, actually, no. Day two. Day two of skirt making, not four um, of skirt making. Because day one, I was pleating it and putting the waistband on and doing the side seams. I finished putting the waistband on. Uh, I hand stitched all of that. I need to go through and fell down all of the inner seams, but I got it hemmed at work as well. Now I just need to put some hooks on it so that I can wear it today because it's 30 degrees and I kind of want that extra layer just because I have it now. So, yep, I will post some pictures of the finished product, but and I realize I've gotten really bad at actually showing you guys how to do these things, but with the pleating, it's the same as what I've done on some other stuff. Um, with the hemming, it's the same as I've done on other stuff. It's a simple skirt. It's two rectangle pieces with a really long skinny rectangle for the waistband. Uh, you just kind of put it all together however you see fit. Um, as long as there is room for your hands to fit to get to the pockets on both sides. Um, I mean, technically you could just attach the pockets from there versus having detachable ones. I like the detachable ones. You can leave stuff in them and not have to worry about switching from one skirt to another, but 
yeah, that's the skirt. Now on to the uh, short bed gown. Short gown. Um, my brain's not working yet here. It's 7 in the morning. Um, but now I'm going to go on to the short gown, work on that, see how fast that one goes, because that one is a whole bunch of rectangles put together too, it seems. It seems I thought the same about the stays and was proven wrong entirely. But, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Everybody have a good day. Bye! <laughs>